Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a pre-summer, end of spring lookbook. And uh, yeah, these are just some outfits that I'm wearing right now when I'm going to run an errand because that's pretty much all I'm going to do right now. And I do apologize because the looks are a little overexposed. I haven't filmed a style video in so long that the sun is rising and setting at a completely different time than the last time I filmed. So I filmed at my normal time today and the sun was shining right in. So I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so noted, moving forward, I'm gonna try to adjust it the best I can. So apologies for that. But today I'm partnering up with Movement and I am wearing, throughout the video, I'm wearing the Charlie watch. Do you see it? Yep. I've been wearing this nonstop. What I like about Movement is they have so many different styles. I, I grabbed the Charlie watch because it almost looks vintage, like an old vintage watch. And they do have other styles. They have more like modern, minimalistic styles, but this like was screaming to me. And I also got it with a black face, <laughs> which is so like me to get the same exact watch in a completely different color. Just one for fall, you know. Yeah, the price point is so good. This one was $125, I believe, but their watches start at $95, so affordable for a piece that you can wear every single day, and it's really, really great quality as well. There's like some weight to it, um, so you can tell it's a nice watch. outfit number one so first I've got this floral dress which I thought oh it's got a big sleeve Wow I actually just paired this with a simple pair of sandals I thought this dress would be so easy I was thinking you can put on sneakers and boots and sandals but not really I tried it on with boots and sneakers and it just didn't look right I think it's because it's kind of a more of a form-fitting mini dress and I think those are the hardest types of dresses to style because they don't look that they don't look as good with sneakers as something a little bit more flowy. So I just styled this with a pair of sandals, but I thought it looked nice. Like if you need to dress up a little bit to go somewhere, I think, you know, something like this is a really great option. Just had a really hard time finding other ways to style it. It just didn't look right for some reason. So next is a denim look. And yes, I am still wearing denim. It's, it's warm here, but it's not like, I feel like I missed my whole chance to wear 
Dead jeans. I'm gonna wear jeans until I just absolutely, it's way too hot. So I'm gonna throw some jeans in here. But these jeans actually, they're from Zara and they're those really lightweight, almost like, like those really thin denim kind of move with you jeans. So I did this and then I did my uh, tank top from the Frankie shop in white. And I, I think this is such an easy outfit, like a cool tank top, uh, denim shorts or jeans. And a cool shoe and I feel like that's such a set outfit and you can add hair accessories I added a lot of hair accessories in this video because my hair is so heavy and thick that when it gets warm I have to pull it back or I get hot so I've been playing with a lot of scrunchies and bows and headbands which you'll see in this video I love this look this is probably just one of my favorite outfits I, I just feel like you can wear it wherever you go because you can throw on sneakers make it casual or you could throw on sandals like a heeled sandal and make it dressed up so one of my favorites. So my next outfit, I wasn't so crazy about at first, but then after I was wearing it and filming in it, I actually started to love it. Um, so I just did my favorite giant oversized button down. I tucked it into this floral skirt from Zara that I showed you in my haul. And I'm gonna be honest, okay. So <laughs> this whole video, the back of the shirt is so long that it's stuck way out the bottom of my skirt. So I had to twist my shirt and shove it in my underwear. <laughs> I put on some combat boots with this and I actually loved the look. Um, I think there are so many other great ways to style this skirt. I don't know if this look would be my go-to necessarily every time, but it's what I had pulled already. So I went ahead and went with it, but I'll be styling the skirt more because it's Definitely one of my favorites and I can wear it through summer as well. You haven't seen the last of it. So the next thing I styled, hold on, I'm fiddling with lots of things. A little bit of a tighter jean, but not a skinny. So we still were okay in this type of jean. This is a little thicker. So I don't know if I can last all day in this if I were gonna be outside, but I did this straight leg jean and I styled it two different ways. The first way I did just this basic tank top and I did a blazer, and I know you're probably like, wait, no. <laughs> it's definitely too hot for a blazer, but this is a linen blazer. So this is really, really lightweight. And this is the one I showed in my haul. I just love it. I think it's so girly and cute and like a little edgy at the same time. I don't know, I, I just love this blazer. I think this is a nice outfit option if you need to go somewhere and you need to kind of be covered up. So if it's more of a professional situation. I think an outfit like this is good. And I think blazers that are really lightweight and almost like a really thin linen are perfect for spring and summer. And then I did a fun shoe with it because, you know, when I have two very basic items on, I like to throw in a fun shoe because I feel like it makes it a little bit more fashion forward. I think when you are wearing such, even just like jeans and a tank top, I always like to throw on some sort of fun shoe. ASOS has really great and expensive pairs of kind of funky shoes that aren't so crazy, but that you're like, do I like that? Do I love that or do I, is that weird? <laughs> I think that's the way to go when you're dressing up two basic items. Then the next way I style the jeans is just with this little top from Zara that I've had forever, but I love the color. It's this really light kind of lilac lavender with polka dots. So I did this top and just a pair of black sandals. And I'm going somewhere, you know, whether it's like the movies or a super casual dinner, one of my go-to outfits is just like a simple pair of jeans and a cute top. I don't buy a ton of tops like this because I feel like items like this I get tired of the most and I've kind of learned that as I get older. I love tops like this. Like when I see tops like this, I just wanna buy them all because they're so cute. But then once you wear them two or three times, you almost get tired of them. So I've been buying more basic items and kind of dressing them up with accessories, whether it be shoes, bags, hair accessories. So I wore it once so I, and now I can only wear it two more times. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Lastly, I wore this dress from the haul that I did pre previously and it is this sheer dress from ASOS and it's by Monkey um, and I got this on sale and I was really, really excited about this. I was excited because I loved it and that it was on sale and that it was in my size and I wore a this little um, leotard, but you can style this so many different ways. Um, you could do, I mean, there's really only so many different ways, but 
<laughs> most of the ways I think this looks good. So I did um, a pair of vintage boots, which I think is a really cool look. I think it's kind of unexpected. You know, this is such a girly dress that I think pairing like an edgier boot is cool. Or you could do a sandal if you want to just be like a little bit more... Mm, not on trend, but a little bit more predictable, but not in a bad way. <laughs> Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I feel like that makes more sense to wear like a cute sandal. If you want to just sort of blow people's minds, just throw on a vintage black boot. All right, that is it. But Movement is giving you 15% off and the link will be below, but it's movement.cc slash Ashley Dashbrook. And they don't just have watches, they have jewelry, they have sunglasses. I am, you know, I'm back to, I just filled out my whole content calendar, so I'm back to posting regular style videos. So I would love to know what you wanna see or if you trust me to just take the wheel and go for it, I'll do that as well. But I always like suge suggestions, obviously. I wanna know what you guys wanna see. But yeah, that's all I have. All right, I'll see you next time.